and here we go again. Uh, today I'd like to have a look at a program which uh, is probably the most common question I get asked um, by people as I'm doing my travels and what have you and that is how do I create a uh, restore point. Even now on Windows 10, I'm using Windows 7 for the demonstration, but on Windows 10 people are saying that once again Microsoft have moved it to somewhere else or they can't find it and it's creating a problem so if you have a dedicated program which is going to do this and surely that's got to make it better so we'll drag up the internet and we'll have a look for um, Tom's hyphen world dot org that's dot org not dot com if you type dot com you'll find something totally different so this is the one it's a blog spot and if you have a look down here you will eventually come to a restore point creator um, looking down the site there's some general information there about the site which is always worth a read if you're into space novels then the author has um, mounted a, a, a one of his own it, I think it's I'll stand corrected but it looks like it's um, it's one of his own stories which he's created it's excellent stuff um, if you've got five minutes and want to have a read, then that's the place to go to have a read. Space 1315. A bit futuristic, I think. I haven't read it yet, but maybe a bit futuristic. Anyway, on programs on the right-hand panel here, we have uh, Restore Point Creator. Now, that's what we're interested in. Um, apparently, since the installation of Windows Anniversary Update, um, it does create a few problems or has created a few problems. Read this page, make a note of this page and come back to it. It's just basically the Restore Point Creator, advice notes and everything. Um, download Restore Point Installer, you can have it as a zip package, etc. It works in so many different basically all Microsoft stuff there's also an online demo there which if you really want to have a uh, in-depth look at it that's the one to see because I'm going to show you just the basic necessities and as always there is a donate button here on the left hand side if you're going to use this program regularly download it and have a go with it by all means but if you think oh I'm going to keep this and does it hurt you actually to give five pound or ten pound to the author just so as he can carry on working and making uh, similar programs for us because they're all to our benefit right this is uh, guaranteed to contain absolutely no spyware or pups which are potentially unwanted programs so you know you can't blame the site if you've ended up with some pups of some sort but anyway I've checked it through myself with my own software and spyware and malware etc and I haven't found anything so that's good to go right so here we are let's restore point creator click on the button there and we will get this file it took a while to come up that's what's through me um, but we will get the download right we can turn the internet off at that point and go to our downloads and here it is install repoint restore point creator exe it is an exe file so just so it doesn't hurt to read the screens the bong you just heard, I don't know if it comes up on the video, but the bong you just heard was the uh, Windows asking permission to do it. Right, I've been through this agreement and it doesn't seem very clean and very straightforward. There's nothing devastatingly awkward in there. It does say that if you're going to use it for personal use, that's great. But if you're a company and want to use it, then you really ought to apply for a site license. That's what all that's about. So we'll install that on our C drive. Um, it's quite a quick install as you can see that that's this is the entirety of the inst installation so I'll we'll click finish now before I kick into it I will just add that I have run the program before but when I ran it before it actually gave me a little icon which it seems to have failed to do never mind restore point creator it'll be on our menu and here is the program I'll bring it to the center and hopefully I won't move it again. Um, and here you can see a list of all my restore points, fairly well labeled as well, including one which I didn't actually know about was the Windows update this morning. Um, on 2410, yeah, that was this morning, 1053. I didn't notice that happening, so that was a subliminal um, update which I didn't even know was there. Anyway, those are the restore points. And let's have a look at the, some of the menus here at the top. Utilities, uh, mount, 
Mount a volume shadow copy. Check Windows Power Plan setting. Delete restore points. If you think you're getting too many of them, you can get rid of them. Uh, view system disk space usage. Now, this little thing here um, popped up this morning when I uh, first tried the program and was testing it out. And basically it told me that the little bit of uh, disk which is reserved for Windows um, it's generally about 10 gigabytes that Windows puts on your hard drive just for uh, system um, information and stuff. Apparently it was 80% full and it decided that I maybe needed more so it actually doubled the um, amount of space available for the system information which is a good thing. Uh, manage system restore point storage space so how much is it? Let's have a quick look at that. Um, Total size of the drive 931, it's a terabyte drive. Storage space is about 30 gigabytes. That should be uh, should be plenty, shouldn't it? Um, schedule creation of system. You can actually set a timer to do your system restore points. Um, with a program like this, I, I don't think you need to set a timer. You just whenever you think of restore point, restore it. Um, fix runtime tasks, application event log. That's handy if you're uh, diagnosing problems you may have had. And of course a reboot system and check for updates. So that's all on the first uh, system restore point utilities. Uh, program options and settings. Additional options and settings. We can check Windows Drive, we can enable system logging, we can confirm deletions etc and so forth. Quite a good list there. Go through the list yourself, see what you want to do. Configuration, backup and restore. We can actually uh, do a backup of our computer in this setting. Uh, round the age of restore points in days. How many decimal points? Don't, I can't see the point in that one but uh, uh, set the progress bar colour. Uh, clear, save, delete, old, restore points, etc. There's a good list there of stuff which really should go through and have a look yourself and decide you know what's good for you because what's good for me and what's good for you could be different things. A uh, little bit about the program, frequently asked questions. Very interesting if you go there. That will take you online and you can have a read through any problems that might have occurred with the installation or with the uh, running of the program. Uh, open product website, yeah, contact the developer, so if you have an issue or even something you think, well you could really do with this in that program, get in touch with the developer, he might be interested to hear what you've got. View the official program change log, now each time a programmer writes a new little leg or an arm for these uh, main programs that he has in here, he logs it so as you can see exactly what's different and command line arguments. You can play with that if you want to. I wouldn't bother. Donate to the developer. That's what I was saying earlier on. You know, if you're going to use this regularly, then um, donating a £5 or a £10 or $5 or $10 or 5 rupees or 10 rupees, whatever your currency is, um, throw it his way. I don't think that would be worth much, would it? 10 rupees is probably about uh, 20p, is that right? Maybe not. Never mind. We won't go there. And instructional videos. This is how to use it fully, which is why I'm only skimping through. I'm showing you the basic program. But if you want to know how some of these um, things work and you want to know a little bit more about it, because it is an excellent program, um, Tom's World Tech Blog, right? This is how little instructional videos on how to do it all. We're not going to go into that. Um, we're just going to leave it as is. So. Uh, what we could do just for demonstration purposes is create a system checkpoint boom boom here we go creating a restore point as you can see it's not the slowest program in the world it's zipping across there quite fast system checkpoint made by da 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 Whoop. there we are system checkpoint creator so obviously the latest one is highlighted and that's all it is that's how long it takes to do a restore point again I will put the information about the program where you can download it from how to get there I'll do that at um, the end of the demonstration but thank you very much for having a look at this and have thank you for uh, suffering with me on these uh, things it's um, just one of these excellent programs that if you're into doing restore points then it's the ideal for you if you're going to have a play around with some software and you're a bit worried whether it's going to 
have pups in it or uh, potentially unwanted programs connected to it and you really really don't fancy the idea of having to mess with your computer again to get this junk off then get this program run a restore point of course once you've got the restore point it doesn't really take much you've got to reboot the computer unfortunately but so I can't show you it in operation but you could restore the selected system restore point or delete the reset this point restore point restore to a selected system restore point in safe mode There's lots to go in on there as I say there is the instructional videos here in the corner take a look at them and enjoy the program if you have enjoyed this demonstration which I feel is very useful utility to have on your computer if you have enjoyed it please give me the thumbs up down below um, if you have a little comment about it then please leave a comment um, but otherwise enjoy that and have a nice day and we'll catch you on the next time round thank you very much for listening oh before I forget don't forget to subscribe to my channel Howard L. Hall on YouTube. I know it's very boring to subscribe to people, but it does mean a lot. And the more people who subscribe, the um, better it makes me feel for the day. There we go. Thanks very much for listening.